My name is Safiri. Um, most people know me from Flavor of Love, Season 2, maybe even Charm School. I won that one. And um, most recently, I Love Money 2. Oh, I love doing them. They were fun. I mean, each each um, show brings its own funness to it. You know what I mean? Like, Flavor of Love, I didn't get to stay there too long. So, I mean, I didn't have as much fun as I had, like, on Charm School because, of course, I won the money. You know, which, you know, of course, led to I Love Money 2, which was fun. Even though I'm not athletic and they had us up on boulders and doing all this Superman type stuff. You know, I'm black. I don't do that. I don't do My most athletic thing is going to the mall, finding some heels. This reality star did go to prison for a minute, for like 21 months. And, you know, it was, you know, a little eye-opening should i say it was eye-opening you know but like i said everything happens for a reason uh -huh. and you know i guess i needed to go for a couple of days you know for some sort of a reason what were the charges the charges was unauthorized use of identity let me tell you what happened let me let me, let me just tell you we i'm coming from mexico right I'm coming back through customs and I'm like, okay, dang. I'm knowing I already had this on my back and I had prayed on it when I was supposed to turn myself in. I prayed on it and God was like, you know, you know, don't turn yourself in. Run. I was like, for real, God? He was like, yeah, don't, don't turn yourself in. So I was like, okay, God, I'm, I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm not going to turn myself in. And I came across this site called Craigslist.org, right? So I'm looking on there and said, right, so then I come across this ad it's like, would you like to date a rapper? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll date a rapper. You know it's right. And it was flavor flag. <laughs> In other words, they said that the difference between that and identity theft, it means that the person said because the person said I could use it, that they were gonna get credit for me, basically. Right? Which was my uncle. He was supposed to get credit for me. And then he changed his mind, said, No, I didn't say that. So once he said no, he didn't say that he was going to get this credit. It became unauthorized use. They couldn't say it was identity theft because there was never no ID. Like I went and said, oh yeah, I'm this person. It was unauthorized use of another person's identity. Getting the credit for it. I was getting the credit because I wanted to get this scar fixed on my chin. <laughs> I, um, I suffer from a condition called BDD, which is like a body dysmorphic disorder. Well, I used to suffer from I, I think prison actually cured me from that. <laughs> People, beware. <laughs> you can change your mind. And don't let nobody say anything while they don't give you anything. Just 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 give me cash. Don't no credit. So they put you away for twenty one months. They gave me actually a sentence of three years. Alright, so they, I don't know. Something something this something yeah. seems like it's more to I'm gonna it. tell so, you. I'm gonna tell yeah, you what's yeah. more to it. What's more to it is they gave me three years. In the state of California you're supposed to do like half of the three years. But because I never was like an angel in the first place. <laughs> Like, hey, we just gonna give her three years, you know what I'm saying? Plus, it was the fact that I didn't turn myself in, so my sentence got extended. You know how it is, like, when your mama, you know, you get a whooping and you run, you get a worse whooping if you stay there, you got like three taps, but since you ran, you got a full blown beating. It was the same thing. Just some, some stuff going on with a house or something like that, that I guess supposed to be yours, that was given to you, and then. What happened with that? Is this with your uncle? Yeah, this was all the with same my guy. Uncle. This was all within a family. This house, right? Actually, it was my dad's house. It was more than just the house. It was the house. It was um, commercial properties, uh, bank accounts, a whole bunch of different things. And because my dad didn't have a will, people decided to step in and take everything from his children. So it became a, a all-out probate, conservatorship, just an all-out war within the family within these uncles so they ended up with everything i ended up with nothing yeah so there's a point where you just had nothing you had yeah. no money you just had nothing I didn't have anything all right cool so and that was the reason why you were going doing the reality tv shows and stuff like that exactly when everything was happening and so when everything was taken and i was just basically left for it with nothing is the time when i did charm school and at that time when i won charm school and I won that money, it was like God's way of saying, you know what, I'm not leaving you, I'm still going to stick right by you. What, what's up, uh, you got a couple products that, that's out there now? Um, yeah, actually I have my lip chap, which is going to be coming to stores near you very, very soon. Also I have my um, Help Have Hair Foundation, um, which actually um, is in the process of manufacturing wigs for people who have like alopecia and cancer, you know, even as far as like little kids, little girls and stuff. Hey, this is your girl Safari. And you're watching Bossip.com.